So, it's been a while since I've uploaded the video, but it was worth waiting. In this video, I'll be showing you the assembly and software to create these awesome RGB LED glasses. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for all the hard work it took. But without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> This video is made using the following service, Easy EDA, an easier EDA experience. Try it out yourself at easyeda.com. So, my PCBs have arrived and they look absolutely amazing. The color black looks very nice and the pads look very solid. As you can see, the text looks amazing as well and overall this is a high quality PCB produced by our friends at Easy EDA. I've tried putting it on and the glasses fit amazing. The glasses are pleasant to wear and you can see very well through the holes. I've also designed a small WS2812 LED tester that I'll be using to test all LEDs before soldering them to the PCB, because it would be a pain in the ass to replace broken LEDs. I've ordered the WS2812 individually addressable LEDs from AliExpress. You can find all the components needed in the links in the description or on Instructables. As stated in the datasheet, I also needed some very small capacitors, which I ordered from AliExpress. All components are pretty cheap and this project was not too expensive at all. Unless you mess up the first time like I did, because of course, I'm a genius. So to start off I went and tested all the LEDs and came to the conclusion that none were working. Or was I doing something wrong? Well, of course, it was my fault and it turned out that the dot on the PCB was actually the positive side of the LED instead of the side with the white corner, which is ground. So, after a lot of messing around, I finally got the LEDs to work, except for the ones I broke by testing them on the wrong polarity. Now it's finally time to start soldering. If you've never soldered SMD components before, I highly suggest looking up a tutorial on YouTube. Let me know if you want me to do one as well. I started by soldering the capacitors, since these are much easier to solder and take less skill. I tinned one pad and heated up the pad while placing the capacitor onto the tin. After that, I soldered the other side of the capacitor and that's basically all there is to it. Now off to the, well, less easier part, the LEDs. These are very fragile and you have to be really careful when soldering. I used the same technique as with the capacitors. First I tinted one pad and after that I soldered the LED into place. You can use flux when soldering. This will make the job a lot easier but it's not needed and in my case I can solder fine without it. Here you can see what happens if one of the LEDs turns out to be broken. The LED starts flickering, which in this case meant that the first LED was broken. You can easily check whether the LED is broken by shorting the data in and data out of the LED. If the ones behind the LEDs were fine, you have to replace that LED. I had a lot of issues with my first design, but luckily my friends at Easy EDA helped me with some personal support. The glasses are controlled by an Arduino. In my case, I use the Arduino Nano because it easily fits in your pocket. A big shout out to a good friend of mine who made amazing software to send data to the LED glasses which means you don't have to program a single thing. As you can see it has a test function to test whether all the LEDs are working correctly but you can also select a color for each LED individually and send it directly to your glasses. Now on top of that you can also load in images like I'm doing right now. I made these templates that you can use to test your glasses with if you want to. This project is still not fully done and we're even working on an Android app so you can send new images to your glasses using Bluetooth. So keep an eye out for the next update. I hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps you want to make these glasses yourself. Feel free to send me a picture of your glasses that you made and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in my next video. Once again, a huge thank you to Easy EDA for making this possible. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.